Hello everyone. In this video of mensuration, we shall take up two questions in which earth is dug out either from a well and spread around to form an embankment or from a pit which is dug in the corner of a rectangular field. And in both the cases, we need to find the height of the level so raised. Now, before we begin with the questions, let us first quickly revise the important formulae of cylinder. As we know that total surface of the cylinder is the sum of the area of the two circular bases that is the top and the bottom plus the curved surface area. Therefore, we can write 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h. Further, we can take 2 pi r common and we are left with r plus h. And curved surface area of the cylinder, we know it is the circumference of the base into height. So, it is 2 pi r into h. For the volume of cylinder is always area of the base into height, therefore it is pi r square h. Now we move to volume of hollow cylinder. Now hollow cylinder as we know comprise of outer radius and inner radius and the difference between outer radius and inner radius is the thickness. So area of the two rims of a hollow cylinder which we can see in the given figure one at the top and one at the bottom is equal to outer area minus the inner area. Now both are circular so the area is pi capital R square minus pi small r square. Further pi can be taken common and we are left with capital R square minus small r square. Now volume of the hollow cylinder which is also called volume of the metal used in a pipe or a tube is given by the formula outer volume minus the inner volume. Further, we will write pi capital R square H minus pi small r square H. Now pi H common we can take out and in bracket capital R square minus small r square. Now let's start with question number 1. A well of inner diameter 14 meters is dug to a depth of 12 meters. The earth taken out of it has been evenly spread all around it to a width of 7 meters to form an embankment. Find the height of the embankment so formed. Now given in this question dimensions of the well that is diameter is 14 meters. So radius is half of diameter. We will say 14 divided by 2 is equal to 7 meters. And depth of the well which is the height is equal to 12 meters. Now dimensions of the embankment are given. We are given the width that is the thickness which you can see in the figure in blue color is 7 meters. Now outer radius is inner radius plus thickness. Inner radius was 7 meters. So we added the thickness that is 7 meters and we got 14 meters as the outer radius. And we have to find the height of the embankment. Now let's start with the solution. Volume of earth taken out from the well is given by formula pi r square h. Now we shall substitute the values. We will write 22 by 7 into 7 square into 12 which is equal to 22 by 7 into 49 into 12 which is equal to 1848 meter cube. Now volume of the embankment which is in the shape of a cylinder now is area of the base into height and we ha already have discussed that area of the base is outer area minus the inner area. So we can say pi capital R square minus small r square into h. Now we shall substitute the values. We will write 22 by 7 in bracket 14 square minus 7 square into h. Now further we will write 22 by 7. 14 square is 196 and 7 square is 49. So 196 minus 49 into h. h we have to find that is the height of the embankment. And further we will write 22 by 7 into 147 into h. Further, we will get 462h meter cube. Now, one side we have the volume of the earth which is taken out from the well and on the other side we have volume of the embankment so formed which will take the shape of a cylinder. Now, further, the volume of both the embankment as well as the earth which is taken out are equal. So, we can say 462 into h that is the height is equal to 1848. Further, height is equal to 1848 divided by 462 is equal to 4 meters. So, the required height which is of the embankment so formed is 4 meters. 
Now let's move to question number 2. A field is 80 meters long and 50 meters broad. In one corner of the field, a pit which is 10 meters long, 7.5 meters broad and 8 meters deep has been dug out. The earth taken out of it is evenly spread over the remaining part of the field. Find the rise in the level of the field. So given to us dimensions of the field, length is equal to 80 meters, breadth is equal to 50 meters. Dimensions of the pit is given length is equal to 10 meters, breadth is equal to 7.5 meters and height is equal to 8 meters. This can you can see in the given figure. And we have to find the rise in the level of the field that is the height which is raised. Now let's start with the solution. Area of the field which is rectangle in shape is length into breadth. So we can say 80 into 50 which is equal to 4000 meter square is the area of the field. Now area of the pit which we have dug in the right side corner of the field is also length into breadth. That is 10 into 7.5 which is equal to 75 meter square. Now area of the portion over which the earth is spread out is area of the field minus the area of the pit. That is 4000 minus 75 we get 3925 meter square. Now volume of the earth which is dug out from this pit which is cuboid in shape is length into breadth into height. Therefore we can write 10 into 7.5 into 8 and we'll get 600 meter square. So we have got the area of the portion over which the earth was spread out that is 3925 and we have the volume of the earth that is dug out from this pit which has come 600 meters square. Now further we can say the rise in the level of the field which is the height is equal to the volume of the earth dug out upon the area of the spread which is equal to 600 upon 3925 meters. Further we can convert into centimeter by multiplying by 100. So we will write 600 into 100 upon 3925 which is equal to 15.3 centimeter. So we can say the height which to which the level of the field has risen is 15.3 centimeters. Hope you have understood these two questions. Thank you everyone.